I just learned about Bertha Ben's story, and I was, the story really resonated with me. She's really a pioneer that I didn't really know about. She was the first person in the world to go on a long distance journey using an automobile. She was just so determined and so resourceful. No one was telling her to do these things. No one was, people were trying to stop her, if anything, and she did them anyway, and she did them well. She embodies the spirit of innovation. So her husband, who invented the first ever gas-powered motor vehicle, was the inventor. But it was Frau Benz who was the innovator. In 1886, Carl Benz was awarded the patent for what is now recognized as the world's first gasoline-powered vehicle. Berta always believed in the potential of her husband's invention and used her inheritance to finance the development of the first three prototypes. Often she would join Carl in the workshop to help test and troubleshoot the vehicle's different systems. Even though Carl would occasionally test drive the vehicle, he had yet to publicly demonstrate that it worked reliably, safely, and could operate over long distances. Berta proposed that a road test would capture the public's imagination. Carl, a consummate perfectionist, disagreed. He believed the design needed further refinement. In the early hours of August 5th, 1888, Berta and her two boys quietly rolled the prototype out of the workshop and set off for her parents' house 107 kilometers away. Of course, there were no gas stations, so she planned a route that would allow her to purchase a cleaning solvent at local pharmacies to use as fuel. Despite the many other challenges, Frau Benz and her boys arrived safely at their destination. So she's the one who took this patented idea and decided when it needed to actually be demonstrated. She was not only involved in the development process, she was the one who decided to take the car out, go for a drive, and she was able to diagnose these problems and, and solve them in her own way. When she was doing this test drive, uh, she needed to insulate a spark plug. And if you didn't have electrical tape back then or all the necessary tools to troubleshoot because you've never done a test drive before, you don't know what can come up, uh, you kind of have to get creative with what on you, on your person, could be a non-conductive material. So she happened to use her garter um, to insulate a spark plug in order to get the car back on the road. Uh, during her journey, she found that using wooden blocks to break and stop the car was not that effective. And so she decided to stop by a cobbler and uh, made him design a leather pad for the brake and basically invented the brake pad. So what Bertha Benz did is actually a lot of what, what you do on a daily basis if, if, if you deal with technology, you have uh, something that you want to experiment with, something that nobody has ever done, something you want to build. And you go in and, and do something with it. You, you know, you build it, you experiment with it. And then, you know, it breaks, you fix it, it breaks again, you fix it again. You don't have to be afraid of it breaking. And if you're lucky, you do something great. The same way that Bertha revolutionized the automobile industry, we're currently at the cusp of another revolution with autonomous cars. Recently, uh, Mercedes autonomous car drove the exact same route that Bertha drove uh, testing the first automobile. And it's cool to see how we've kind of, we've come full circle. Having autonomous cars and AI and having cars communicating with each other, that just makes it so much safer for people. Bertha Benz stood at the cusp of mobility, uh, being able to drive ourselves anywhere with the automotive vehicle. And now we are at the cusp of autonomous vehicles, enabling technology to take us anywhere that we need to go with advancements in artificial intelligence and big data. Right now, we're not taking advantage of a large segment of our population that can bring diversity and greater innovation to the table, and that's women. And women are attracted, and girls, when they're making that decision, are attracted to the idea of making a difference to humanity.
making a difference to society in a tangible way. So if I were to give a advice to a young woman right now, uh, trying to decide uh, which career choices to make, then I would really encourage you to consider technology. Engineering isn't just about wearing a hard hat or sitting in front of a computer all day. It's also about bringing all the interests you have, be it music, art, dance, theater, and mixing it up with a little bit of the technology, programming, and, and hands-on experiences so that your ideas come to life. Getting an engineering degree is it's a really strong tool for positive change. And I think if you want to make a difference in the world, then you should probably become an engineer.